whatever you're trying to see show up in the physical okay whether this is your job whether this is your home um your guides are saying none of that's going to happen unless you feel fulfilled okay you are fulfilled this is wish fulfillment this is happily ever after this is your dreams coming true nine of pentacles now there's something very specific about this energy okay that's also tied to this the nine of cups and the knight of pentacles uh, and you notice like this came first and then this so the more fulfilled you are the more energy you are going to have um to really invest and continue invest in the things that are going to make you happy it's like this is the result right and this is also this is the result it's like this is the cause and this is also the result wish fulfillment is going to give you the energy that you get to have to invest in yourself and then it's like the more you invest in yourself right the more positive energy is going to come towards you and look at all the positive energy that's showing up for you okay uh king of pentacles and ten of cups hmm there may be some energy regarding relationship matters too possibly a commitment showing up hmm, someone may be wanting to speak to you as well i'm seeing this knight of cups may have to do with someone someone's been thinking about coming towards you to speak to you as well so we'll look into that energy um <clears throat> as well hmm okay six of cups sharing of gifts um let's see this energy of nine of cups what that's about because this is the mm. so your guides want you to be in tune in terms of this nine of cups this is the first thing that i'm seeing like the empress knows how to nurture others and what makes her an empress and not necessarily what makes her an empress part of what allows her to continually manifest continually channel um and realize what she wants and needs is she knows how to nurture her first okay she knows how to nurture her needs first your needs come first your needs okay put yourself first okay this is one of those times that you get to be self-focus self-focus is the vocabulary here um because you may actually lose sight of other things if yourself is not the subject of like the main subject of the conversation tell me about this nine of cups good news you see that okay boss um this is you nine of cups um i'm still seeing an energy of okay your guides are preparing you for your season they're preparing you for scorpio season they're preparing you for something that you're going to it's like it's a it's a it's some news that you're going to receive of significant proportion which is going to actually make you feel and see this like emperor energy manifested um within and without okay there's some really significant news showing up for you this may also mean that for many of you this energy of fatherhood and you notice how the emperor showed up first and then the emperor so there could be something very significant some good news having to do with it's like a couple energy this is this is a twin flame soulmate energy something that's going to show up that's going to require the energy of you being like you embracing your feminine as well as this masculine boss energy here whatever good news that's coming towards you an energy of like wishes coming true and i'm seeing that there are very specific things that are about to happen for you that your guides are preparing you for 
So whatever is happening right now before Scorpio season, it's also it's also a preparation. All this stuff is preparation. It's like you're getting and I'm seeing this this nine of cups. Your guys are also saying that there's something that also started in the month of September. OK, and it's like a culmination of things. It's building up. OK, there's some sort of like anticipation building up for something. And look at what shows up family. OK, and then the, the emperor and empress shows up. So there could be some wish fulfillments, things happening within a family dynamic that are going to come. And your guides are yet reminding you that those things coming manifesting have to deal with first and foremost taking care of you okay now let's see about this good news i'm curious because this emperor is showing up there's some good news for an emperor so you may be a masculine um that's about to receive some significant financial news okay and it may not be necessarily financial this has to do with uh something that you have worked Mm, manifested something you've something you've manifested this may not be like physical work it may be spiritual work that you've done to really like reap something that's coming towards you and for some this is financial news security there's something happening for you to make something happen okay um i'm also seeing that there's a significant energy of like an emperor coming together with an empress okay this 11 11 energy showing up plus this emperor showing up right after the empress your guides are telling you that there's something that's about to be manifested um or channeled or something's about to come true some wish fulfillment uh for this emperor and empress and this for for those who are saying well well, I'm not in a connection or I don't have an interest. This, there's a connection between this emperor and empress and not necessarily in the physical sense. Okay, this emperor and empress may also be connected because this represents two aspects of you that your guys are saying you need to be able to demonstrate. You need to be able to like channel for you for something else to happen so your guys could be telling you to embrace this masculine energy as well as the feminine in order for you to manifest something greater okay so perhaps this energy of the masculine that you may that you get to embrace has to deal with you taking charge taking control of your circumstances uh your financial circumstances or this may mean that um you get to like really um hmm, you get to take authority regarding certain situations that have to do with uh this energy of wish fulfillment 